hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a square root of a divided by a is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for the values of a so uh, here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root for this we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so in this first method we move uh, this a to the right hand side because it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 5 and it will becomes 5a so in order to find the values of a we need to remove this square root sign from left hand side for this we just take scaring on both of the sides and now you see here we have this two and this k root are gone and we will get here a is equals to here we have um, here we apply this care separately on both of these values and we know that a square of 5 becomes 25 and the square of a becomes a square and further in the next step we move this a to the right hand side and it, it will become 25 times of a square and this is minus a is equals to 0. Further you see here both of these terms involve a so here we take common a and when you take common a we get the remaining values are 25a minus 1 is equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 25a minus 1 is equals to 0. So uh, this is the uh, value of a which we get here and this is the first root and now in order to find the other roots we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become 25a is equals to plus 1. So for the values of a we need to divide both of the sides by 20. So this 25 is cancelled out by this 25 and we will get here a is equals to 1 over 25. So this is the value of a uh, which we get here in this method. Uh, so now here in the next steps we need to verify that is both of these two values are solution or both of these two values are extraneous root. For this we need to copy down given question statement here and it is k root of a divided by a is equals to 5 and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 25. So when we substitute a is equals to 0 into the left hand side of given equation it will be written as when you put this here it will become square root of 0 divided by 0 is equals to 5 and here we have this is 0 over 0 is equals to 5. So 0 over 0 uh, form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form. So if it is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that uh, it is undefined form. So if this is undefined form uh, so it means that the value of a is equals to 0 is not satisfied over given queen because both of the sides are not equal. So if a is not satisfied over given question statement so we finally conclude about the value of a is equals to 0 is that a is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation because it does not satisfy our given question statement. And now here we move toward the second root of a and now we substitute this value of a into the left hand side of given question. After substituting this here it will become 1 divided by 25 and this is whole square root divided by again a and the value of a is 1 over 25 and we check that is this equals to 5 or not. And here we know that square root of 1 becomes 1 and square root of 25 becomes 5 and it is divided by 1 divided by 25 and we check that is this equals to 5 or not. So in the next step here we need uh, to take the reciprocal of the denominator term and it will becomes 1 over 5 multiplied by 25 over 1 is equals to 5. So here you see that this 5 5 is a 25 and uh, we clearly see that 5 is equals to 5 so this shows that 
द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इज सेटिसफाइड आवर गिवन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट सो वी फाइनली कंक्लूड अबाउट द सोल्यूशन सेट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज दैट द सोल्यूशन सेट इज ए इज इक्वल टू वन आवर ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज ओनली दिस वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज सेटिसफाइड आवर गिवन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट सो वी कॉल दिस इज द आवर सोल्यूशन सेट and in the next step we again solve this problem for second method and um, we uh, check the roots of this equation so here i can just give you an other technique uh, in which you can um, get the roots of this equation very quick method uh, so first we copy down given question statement here it is square root of a divided by a is equals to 5 and in the next step uh here uh, we just focus into the denominator term and here we write this a into the product of square root form so it will be written as square root of a divided by we write this a as square root of a multiplied by square root of a is equal to 5 so you see that this square root of a is cancelled out by this square root of a and we will get here 1 divided by square root of a is equal to 5 So further in the next step, in order to find the values of a, we replace this square root of a with five, or in other words, we move square root of a to the right hand side and we move this five to the left hand side. So when we interchange these two values, it will become the one divided by five is equals to square root of a. So in order to find the values of square root of a. and we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when you take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we get a is equals to here we know that the square of 1 becomes 1 and the square of 5 becomes 25 so this is the value of a which we get here and further uh, we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that the solution set is a is equals to 1 over 25 because in the first method uh, we already verify that this value of a is satisfied our given question statement so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting video